One, the jams where hit music lives. Yo, Gotti, the baby right there will drop all about new music right here, man. The time is 11.30 and it's all about Chat Trap. Talking about what's happening in the media today. And Chat Trap is brought to you by the Village Drug and Beauty Supply and Village Auto Parts. There's only one place you need to shop for your hair, skin, baby items, grocery, and the household. It's at the Village Drug and Beauty Supply Store located at number 57, Alexandria Boulevard, Nassau Village. You can get 20% off the premium now at the Village Drugs and Beauty Supply Store. Just call them at 393-3419 or WhatsApp at 441-3943. Talking about what's going on in the media today. So last Friday at Rolling Loud, Bobby Shimurda performed and debuted two new tracks. And as it, how it's been looking so far, that he's been quite quiet since he has been released um, from prison. But maybe there is a reason just for that. So Bobby Shimurda was released February 23rd of this year. And he has been keeping a somewhat low profile as he tries to navigate being a free man under parole conditions. As we can see in some photos you'll see posted on social media, that he's being super, super, super duper careful. He does not want to go back. But while locked up, he said he felt the love from the streets, but knew that he had to stay humble. And he also shared how much his thought process has changed since being released from prison. And he realized that he made a lot of the wrong decisions. And he admitted that being in jail made him smarter and that he used to move off of a lot of impulse, but that has changed. So he's trying to see what's this and what's that before he makes the next move because he he truly wants to take his career to the next level. So Bobby Schmidt did reveal that some music from him, some new music from him and the Migos are in the works. And I'm super proud of him seeing that, you know, some people go to prison and they never learn. And some people go and they come out for the good and, you know, they want to change their life put in a different direction so i'm super happy that this is what he's deciding to do because i'm pretty sure that this will of course inspire a lot of persons that do look up to him at this moment so now we're all familiar with johnson and johnson baby powder and this is one product we probably have in our house at this moment but maybe you might want to throw this out instantly because apparently johnson and johnson is being sued for allegedly targeting black women because their powder has been linked to cancer. So attorneys Ben Crump and Paul Napoli are taking Johnson & Johnson to court on behalf of the National Council of Negro Women. Allegedly, Johnson & Johnson have been trying to get African-American women to buy powder products over the years with tailored advertising and marketing, namely talcum powder, which their attorneys are stating has been the subject of research and studies which, with ties to ovarian cancer cancer and the attorneys insist that they got inside information including internal memos from the company that proved their efforts to get black women to buy talcum which they said has caused irreparable harm to so many for too long so i'm just saying to play it safe We've already got COVID-19 that's out there that's, you know, really causing a whole lot of harm to people. So I tell you, just get rid of the Johnson & Johnson powder and do not use it any longer. It's really up to you, but just to play it safe. So as we all know, the Olympics have started. Congratulations to the Bahamas and their wonderful athletes. But talking about Simone Biles right now and seeing what's happening to her. As you know, she is regarded by many to be the greatest and most dominant gymnast of all time. And she's been struggling with with mental health issues and this is one of the reasons why she had decided well she's kind of still deciding but it seems as though that she will not be um, competing in the team finals because she has some mental health issues as she said she's been going to a therapist you know just trying to really deal with her demons trying to bottle them but it's pretty difficult for her so she decided to take a step back after the performance that she did she said that she didn't want to go into the other events so she's thinking that hey she needs to just chill out for a minute and work on her mental health and it's just super sad to see you know and today apparently is a mental Mental health day so I tell you if you are going through something as well maybe you want to check up on that seeing that this pandemic of course a lot of us just have been dealing with a lot and mental health is the most important thing and it's definitely much more important than the Olympics because you still have to take care of herself at the end of the day so she's still leaving the door open and she just might compete and she just might not but we'll definitely see but that's it for chat trap talking about what's happening in the media today 
And remember that Chat Trap is brought to you by the Village Drug and Beauty Supply and Village Auto Parts. And you don't want to have any fear because the Village Auto Parts is here. They have coaster bus parts, clutch disc starters, alternators, tail lamps, brake rotors, American and Japanese vehicle parts at the Village Hardware Store located at Alexandria Boulevard, Nassau Village. You can call them today and let the Village Auto Parts find that part for you. That's 601 4746 601-4752 or WhatsApp them at 525-9159.